Hi, my name's Penny. Today I'm going to do another Top 5 Wednesday video. So Top 5 Wednesday is a group with weekly prompts. I'll leave all the group information down below if you want to look it up. Um, but this week's prompt is Top 5 Characters on the Naughty List. And I've decided instead of just going with villains, what I'm going to try and do is just go with characters from books that I've read this year. And I'm going to do characters that are primarily good characters, or characters on the good side, but who have done things that would put them on the naughty list. So for number five, I'm going to go with Angel from Buffy season nine, I think is where he does the naughty thing. And this is going to be actually quite a hard video because pretty much all the naughty things are spoilers, so I can't talk about them. Um, but... Angel did a quite surprising thing in season 9. Definitely think it was season 9. It's quite a massive thing that I'm pretty sure would put you on the naughty list. So even though Angel's a good guy and this does not involve Angelus, which is Angel's kind of normal bad side. Yep, Angel's definitely on the naughty list. So then number 4, I'm going to go with Quoth from Name of the Wind. Um, this is a pretty popular series so hopefully everyone knows what it's about. But... Quoth, even though he's our hero, he is kind of a little shit uh, a lot of the time. Um, he, if somebody does something he doesn't like, he's definitely into petty revenge. Um, also, we definitely know in the third book, which hasn't been released yet, that he's probably going to kill a king. He's probably going to start a war. There's definitely a lot of bad stuff that he has probably done. So, yes, Quoth is on the naughty list. So number three, I'm going to go with Arsenault from the Three Dark Crowns series. So Three Dark Crowns is a trilogy. I think the first two books have been released and I read them this year. Third book next year. I'm excited for it. Uh, but basically you've got these three queens all with different magical powers and they're expected to kind of fight for the throne and kill each other. The winner gets the throne. Uh, and Arsenault is the, a naturalist, so she's supposed to have the ability to uh, talk, to control animals and grow flowers and all that kind of stuff. It's not too much of a spoiler, I think it's revealed pretty early on in the books to say that she doesn't have the power that she's supposed to, which kind of makes the whole fighting to the death thing a bit more difficult. Uh, but then... Uh, the course that she kind of decides to follow in order to deal with the situation that she's in definitely puts her on the naughty list. So Arsenault is number three. So then number two, I'm going to go with Lila, Lila Bard from the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy, which I reread the first book this year and then I read the next two books. Basically the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy, which you should have heard of, but if you haven't, is about... Uh, world where there's different versions of London, Grey London which is our London, Red London which has magic, White London which has lost most of its magic and is now a very violent place, and Black Magic which has been locked off because of magic going bad there. Um, we also have Cal who's able to travel between the worlds and Lila. Lila is basically like a street rat and a thief from Grey London. Um, who gets wrapped up in this whole adventure after she tries to pickpocket from Cal. Uh, she is definitely a morally grey character. That's what B. Schwab's really great at, is writing these morally grey characters. But definitely in the second and the third books, Lila does quite a lot of things which are not really very good. Um, oh, what happened to the lighting there? Anyway... Anyone who's read those books would know Lila is definitely on the naughty list, although I don't think she would be that upset about it. I think she'd embrace being on the naughty list. And the same would go for the character that I'm going to put as number one on the naughty list, and that would be Janet from the Magicians series, um, specifically in the Magicians Land. So there's kind of three books, I don't remember their names. Uh, the first book I thought was kind of bit disappointing like I really liked the world and the concepts but the actual plot and the storytelling was a bit ugh. I found the first book a bit disappointing then the second book was a bit better um, but Janet wasn't in it that much and then in the third book 
kind of this whole section where Janet has kind of been left in the second book Janet was left to look after Fillory and kind of be the the only royal left and in the third book it's revealed that even though that's what she was left to do she instead went off and had this big adventure and she was quite badass in that adventure but she also did some things that definitely were not what a hero would do. But while in the kind of the previous books I hadn't cared about Janet at all, in the third book, once it kind of revealed how hard her life had been and how she kind of overcame it and kind of all her anger and her harsh exterior was from her life experiences and just how she was dealing with it and then seeing what a badass she became. Uh, she actually became my favourite character, so even though she's on the naughty list, she's one of my favourite characters from this year. So, don't know what that says about me. I mean, it is true that I really enjoy morally grey characters. It's probably because I think most of us are at least a little bit morally grey. I mean, we all try to do our best, but sometimes it's hard to know what the right thing is, because it isn't as clear-cut as stories would like to make it and so stories that do tell that kind of that that real life grayness morally grayness of the world I enjoy that so yeah those are my top five characters on the naughty list uh, I'd love to know if you've read any of the books with those characters and what you think of those characters do you agree that they would be on the naughty list or if you're part of the top five Wednesday group then let me know uh, what characters you chose link me to your video or whatever it is that you've made. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you again next time.